strategy. That's beautiful also. And um, now, the first thing in this area is, as always, it's not a repetition, but it really is the character. The idea of the first love, it has to come really full in the area, right in the beginning, you know. From the first coloratura that you have, it has to come really like the sunshine, like it's the first, you know, really the, uh, what you call, Cupid. <laughs> Really, you know, like the arrow going into your heart right away for the first time in your life. You have to feel it with the music, and it's right there. It's right there, you know. Now, however, immediately after the first session of the aria, the very fast one, and is coming a second one that you have to use then your romanticism, all the legato. So I want to feel that contrast, just few bars to the end of the, um, the first part, which you are really, absolutely, really in heaven. the excitement of this is the short note. So the appoggiatures with the short notes, don't overdo it. That's exactly the excitement of the moment. You know, don't underestimate those little notes, okay? Now, one suggestion. The B flat is the important note, but don't start hold a little bit the first note you know so then you settle the B flat otherwise it's too unexpected okay so okay. Legato, really. Tiara, tiara, tiara. You know, like everything is going into your heart. You feel the arrows coming in every, every moment. <laughs> Be careful with the legato in French. It's a difference from the legato in French than in the Italian. In French, you have to exaggerate the pronunciation of some of the consonants more than the Italian. The Italian, you were, you will, if you were singing Italian, you can say loa. Loa di vermo rosa. Yeah. Yes. Loa di vermo rosa. You have to underline the consonants. Okay. Let's go now to the very ending. Um, no, let's do that. That's that's worth it. Let's do it again. Loa 